This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone, welcome back to the 26th episode. In today's episode, uh, as I promised, we're gonna be uh, touching uh, our AI here in the horror project. So I have the horror AI series going on uh, separately, but I wanted to make uh, also the tutorial with the free model. So you can see how that looks like. Um, basically the horror AI is made with paid model, uh, but still the steps are pretty similar, uh, if not the same. Um, but yeah, uh, some people requested Mixamo characters, so here we go. So uh, we're gonna get the characters from the Mixamo, and you, you just need to type mixamo.com and you need to create account and you'll be greeted here in the character tab. And for our game, we can choose whatever we want. Um, for me, I might just find. Let's see. Let's see. We can use this Maynard. Okay. So here we have the character, which is pretty cool. We need to download and just press download. And now, once it's downloaded, we are basically downloading the skeleton and our character. So with that being said, we can go straight to animations. So for me, I'm gonna get some idle animation. Um, <clears throat> maybe something like this. Doesn't really matter, just get the idle animation. I will select without skin. And I will se select 60 frames. Um, without skin, because we already have a skin, uh, we already have a character downloaded. And 60 frames per second, basically how many frames per second is our animation going to be? Of course it's going to be smoother if it's 60. And uh, keyframe reduction can stay at none. And let's just download. Also let's download the walk. You can do whatever you like. We can do this one. But very important, before you before you download, you need to set it in the place so your animation is in place. You don't want it to be like this because your character is going to stutter a lot. So just download it like this without skin, 60 frames, download. And let's download the run animation as well. Also, we're gonna set it in place. Download. So, once it's downloaded, I can take it right here. Once it's downloaded, I can simply just uh, first pull my character. So my character, uh, I can do I have AI folder. Yeah, I do. So in my AI folder, I'm just going to put the character, which is a CH30 non-PBR. And we just need to keep it like this. It's going to import the mesh and skeletal mesh as well and create the new materials, so you're gonna have basically the character that we want. So we can let Unreal Engine do it. We can just close this. I'm gonna open the level. And here in the level, uh, what I want to do is uh, go to the AI and test how does it look like. As you can see, everything seems fine with the import. That's perfect. Now, uh, we already have our, our AI character, so what I'm gonna do is open it. And simply uh, just uh, change its mesh to the this one that we just downloaded. So now if you see it, you can rotate it to 90 degrees. So we can pull it down a little bit. This cube can be gone. We don't need it anymore. So you can delete it. And now uh, you're gonna need to tweak a little bit um, to fit the, you know, just so it's not flying. 
Um, so if you, you don't want him to, you know, be in air. So you can tweak this around. No biggie. Okay. So our our character right now is right there. And if we spawn here, he's gonna chase us. No, he's gonna randomly path. Yeah, because that's what we set, right? Let's see. In our base AI. Yeah, we have random location, pathfinding. Also, we can uh, set AI move to, and he would do the same. Uh, he would, uh, sorry, he would uh, roam around, but firstly looking for the character, right? Um, I'm gonna expand this a little bit. So he has more space to walk. Just like that. Let me see how does he behave. He's uh, very fast, as you can see. So we can go to a character, character movement, and tune down speed to 350. And that's gonna make him uh, go a little bit slower. Um, also, what I want to do is I want to enable this use controller desired rotation, and uh, control Joe should be disabled. So, very important, this rotation should be on, so the, it's it has more smooth turns, and the control jaw is basically, we mostly use this when we are creating a first person game, so, yeah, not kinda useful here in this scenario. Uh, he should be moving smooth now, as you can see, he's more smooth. Um, Let's, let's bring this more up. Uh, okay, never mind. A hundred. So, um, in this episode, uh, I show you how how you should import the skeleton, and we already have here set up the blackboard behavior tree blueprint classes, but uh, let's simply just create a new folder called animations. And let's bring walking, idle, and running. So I selected all three of them, and just select the character, uh, the skeleton for your new character. So you can import it one by one, or you can drag all of them. But very important, select the skeleton. So now these animations are gonna apply to skeleton because they have uh, same skeleton, so it's totally fine. And if you bring them in right now. And we press play. They're gonna walk and run, as you can see. But that's not our AI, that's just random character. Um, if we were to give our mesh um, animation, like asset, uh, you shouldn't do this, I'm just showing you. I'm just like checking how that would look like. Now you would see him uh, walk. Very weird, but yeah. Weird because um, he doesn't have idle animation base, and this space is very, very, very small for him. So I'm gonna expand it and I'm gonna remove these walls, and um, I'm gonna also expand this uh, navigation mesh. And if you remember, this navigation mesh lets our AI walk. So let me press play. As you can see, that's our AI roaming around. He still doesn't see us. He's still a little bit stupid about that. Uh, but yeah, uh, now we're gonna do the animation blueprint. And to do the animation blueprint, um, we would need also an anim animation uh, blend space. So here we have a blend space, but in Legacy we have blend space 1D. Now, blend space is used when you want to have two dimensions, so you can uh, literally walk right, walk left, you know, if you have the animation for that. But if you have only walk animation and you control your character rotation with the code, like you just, he just, you know, roams around 
um, yeah, he's gonna rotate uh, automatically by himself uh, without the animation. He's just gonna use, you know, walk animation and go there, go there. But uh, with the 2D blend space, you can literally have the move right, move left, uh, forward right, forward left animations, and it could be so smooth, but this requires animations. So in this tutorial, I don't want to make it uh, very hard, so I'm going to use the legacy blend space 1D, and I'm going to select my skeleton and call this um, enemy or AI B1, um, sorry, one, uh, BS 1D, like that. Also now I will create an uh, animation blueprint, also the same skeleton, and call it ABP AI. And now I'm gonna enter my blend space to get uh, get this done, and then we can jump to animation blueprints. So right now here uh, we have the idle running and walking, and here we have some uh, line. Well, basically right right now what we need to do is we need to set this horizontal axis, give it a name to be like speed, and maximum y axis value is going to be our character walking, like movement. This is the maximum movement that we want to give to our character. I find it uh, 350 to work great. So idle is going to be at zero. So if you hold shift and left click, you can move it to zero. Walking is going to be somewhere here. Uh, also, you need to tweak that uh, to your likings. And the running is going to be the maximum. So as you can see, from the idle he walks, and then from the walk he will just uh, transition to the running. Uh, how I'm uh, looking, this is control and just move the mouse, and you will see it. Okay, so that's our uh, blend space done. We can close it. But now our character doesn't know this. Like he needs um, he needs some information to play this animation. That was good rhyme. So. Instead of just doing it like this and setting it up in the blueprints, you could do it, but it's not the best way and just reinventing the wheel. We will just use the animation uh, blend space here and we are going to plug it into result. And as you can see now, he's playing idle because for him speed is zero, but we need to update his speed. So this speed is going to be promoted to variable, just like that. But now, in the event graph, we need to get this speed. So we can event initialize, blueprint initialize animation. This is like begin play of the anim BP. And on the begin, we want to cast to AI character. Make sure that's uh, the right character. Let's go and double check. Yep, that's one. Uh, it's going to be get player character or uh, rather try to get pawn owner and as AI character we will promote it to variable and after that we have our reference and we will just get velocity from it so we can get velocity and now we just need vector length and you guessed it vector length vector length is our speed. So we're gonna set the speed to be equal as our vector length, just like this. And this is going to update our character speed, which is later on gonna update this. So we're gonna play the animation when the character is walking. But we need to let, them, let the character know, uh, or other AI right now, that we want to use animation blueprint here in our AI character. And the animation class will be ABP AI. And as you can see, he's playing uh, idle animation because he's standing in the place. If I go there and unlock, he is running indeed. Of course, uh, this animation is not the best. You need to tweak around, but this is just general showcase uh, how that works. Uh, later on in the uh, horror course, we're gonna go more in depth about it, but for now, uh, this will do the trick. 
uh, maybe he he should uh, have his movement increased so he looks better. But yeah, this is ultimately uh, just animation blueprint and setting up the blend space and importing the character from the Mixamo. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.